What's going on, Card Family? How's everyone doing? Football is finally here. Fantasy football is here. I'm so excited. So I'm going against fourth quarter hits um, this week in fantasy football, formerly known as Fresh Deck 85. And we have a little wager going on. So if I win, he has to send me a card. If he wins, I have to send him a card. And um, he's also doing a giveaway based on our game. So I will leave the link down in the description. Um, so fourth quarter hits. If you win, which I know you're not, I have to give you this card. 2016 Unparalleled Football, CJ Procise. Nasty card. Can you see that? 9 out of 10. Just a beautiful card. Such a nice card. You know, I put this up because I know I'm not losing. So I know I'm not going to have to send this to you. So sorry, Fresh Deck. But um, let me pull the screen up. All right, guys. So let's take a look at my team. I have Matt Ryan, David Johnson, Crowell, Brandon Marshall, Mike Wallace, Jimmy Graham, McCaffrey, Robert Kelly, McFadden. And the list goes on and on and on. As you see, I like to stockpile running backs. Um, I've been doing this formula for years. I like to have at least three solid running backs. I don't like to use a, a receiver in the flex position. Um, receivers are just too on and off, you know, unless you have the select few like the Antonio Browns and the Julio Jones. But the thing about running backs is it's never a sure thing. So it's always good to have backup plans. Um... McFadden, Zeke is playing the first game, so that actually helps me out because I was trying to decide between Darren McFadden or Isaiah Crowell. Um, McFadden is going against the, the tough Giants D, so, you know, Zeke coming back really helps me out with that. Um, Crowell, I think he's going to break out this year. They plan on using him a lot more, plus, even though he plays for the Browns, they have a great offensive line. So they're probably going to rely on him heavily. So I'm looking forward to that. David Johnson is just self-explanatory. Christian McCaffrey, I think he's going to have a monster year too, especially this week against 49ers. Um, Matt Ryan against the, the weak Bears defense, I think he's going to carve him up. Brandon Marshall, I picked him up, I think, the fourth round? Fourth or fifth round. But he, he was way down there on the list. But I, I think he has... Excellent, excellent value. The same thing happened the first year he went to the Jets. Nobody was picking him up, and I picked him up, and he had a monster year. Um, I just think, you know, alongside Beckham is going to really help him out. Um, I think he's going to have a monster year. Jimmy Graham, Robert Kelly, Matt Jones. Robert Kelly had a nice stretch last year, but he's a bell cow there. Plus, Matt Jones left, so... McFadden, great to have McFadden because you never know when Zeke is out. When Zeke is out, he's definitely a must start because, you know, that, that offensive line. Um, receivers aren't that great besides Brandon Marshall, but like I said, I'll probably find a diamond in the rough. Mike Wallace, he's all right. He's more off and on. Like, he'll have monster games, and then the next week he'll only have, like, two points or whatever. So I got Ted Jin Jr., He's on the Saints this year. He's a burner, so you never know. He could be a sleeper this year. Um, Cole Beasley, he's a sleeper. So let's change the screen. All right, guys. So let's look at the matchup. Let's look at fourth quarter hitch team. Stairway to Evans. I like the word play. Pretty slick there. He has a really nice team. Uh, Derek Carr going against the Titans. I think he's going to have a big game. Guys, don't hate me when I say this. Jack Frost, no offense. I know a lot of you are fans of this guy, Jordan Howard. Um, I know he had a monster first season. But, you know, I hate to say it, but I think he's just going to be a one-year wonder. I hope I'm wrong. Let's see what happens. Again, no offense, guys. Um, Marshawn Lynch, at least for the first game, I think he's going to be rusty. You know, taking two years off, 
um, going into a whole new system, whole new situation, I think he's going to be rusty. Just a little bit in the beginning, at least the first game. Um, Mari Cooper, I think he's going to light him up. I like how he has Cooper paired with Carr, so that's double points. Especially if he throws Carr, if he throws Cooper a touchdown, it's a lot of points right there. Um, Benjamin, I was thinking about picking up because he was another one who dropped down in the receiver list, but I think he has excellent value, big body. Um, I think he's going to have a pretty good year. Travis Kelsey, I actually picked up in my other league. So I think he's going to have, he, he's always good. I mean, you think about it. The Chiefs, they only use pretty much him. And uh, what's that receiver's name? Ah, I forget his, forget his name. You guys know what I'm talking about. Tyreek Hill. It's pretty much like the only two players that they use on offense, really. They don't really use anyone else. So I think, you know, Kelsey's a solid running back. Um, Stephon Diggs going against the weak, weak, weak. Saints defense. I think he's going to have a big game. Um, just a word of advice. If you guys don't have, if you guys need to pick up someone, just look for someone going against the uh, the Saints. Chances are they're going to have a big game. Um, Chargers at Denver. Pretty good defense. I think I have the best defense of the week going against the, the Jets because the Jets are just a mess. Um, he has a really good kicker, Justin Tucker. He never misses. I, I don't think he's missed in a couple years. Um, I have the Philly kicker. I think I'm going to win this. I think I'm going to win a free card, and I, I think I think I have this. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.